Hello, I'm Dr. Ricardo Posada, consultant ENT surgeon and head of department at Alzara Hospital in Sharjah, UAE. Today, I want to explain how to do the COVID test, swap test properly. Uh, I think that this is necessary because we've had a few complications with testing. And also I've noticed on the uh, YouTube that a lot of people have demonstrated it incorrectly. So I think it's important that we understand what we're doing. And um, I will first like to demonstrate the anatomy relevant to the COVID test. And then I will perform the test and show you how it's done. First, I'm going to demonstrate the anatomy in the nose that's relevant to the COVID uh, testing. Um, this is a flexible nasendoscope, and I'll be able to show you all the anatomy on the screen, uh, which is just over there. So first of all, you must have your patient sitting with upright. And the way to, to uh, know that your patient's in the correct position is if you draw a line from the tragus to the inferior margin of the orbit, it should be a horizontal line, which is parallel to the floor. So you don't want the patient head to be like this or like this. It should be straight because the nose is actually horizontal. The opening is horizontal. So if I put the, the neck nasendoscope in like this, you will see that you go straight down to the back of the nose. It's the, to get to the nasopharynx, to take the sample. So you want to be in this area here, not here, and not here, not up. This is the floor of the nose that you, you are um, aiming to get to the back of the nose. This is actually the nasopharynx, and this is the area that you want to sample. So you want to get your swab all the way in. So this is a good um, demonstration of a very patent passage. But if I show you the other side of her nose, if you look in the nose now, you'll see she has a deviated septum. So if you go along here, you will hit resistance very early and you won't get into the nasopharynx. You will have to go along the floor here to get to the uh, right area. So you see how the anatomy of the nose varies and one should be aware of this when doing the test. Now, we need to also take the swab from inside the mouth. So I'll show you the relevant anatomy inside the mouth for the test. So just open your mouth. So if you go to the, the back of the, th the throat, you, you, you find the uvula there. And to the sides, you can see the tonsils. That's one tonsil there, and that's another tonsil there. And that's the area you want to swab in order to get a proper swab. So uvula, the side of the uvula, side of the uvula where the tonsil is located. This is the equipment for the COVID swab test. This is the swab and this is the reagent. So you open the swab like so. And there's a cotton bit at the end. You don't touch that. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate where exactly in the mouth you take the swab and if you can just look at the camera. So we've got the, we've got the it's a little bit dark, but we've got the, um, the uvula there. And if we go so, the tonsils, we want the tonsil area. So we brush the tonsil like that. We can even brush the other side as well. And there's no gagging, you notice? If you go to the back wall, the patient will gag. So very good. So we've taken the sample from the throat. Now we're going to go into the nose with the same sample. And I'll show you how to get to the nasopharynx again. So you go along the floor all the way along the floor, along the floor. To the back of the nose. And that's where you want to be. You don't want to be at the top there. You want to be all the way along the floor to the back of the nose. That's the nasopharynx. And you turn it a couple of times and your sample is completed. So then you open the bottle, you put directly in, 
and then you break it. There's a there's a mark here for you to break. And then you cover it. And that's the proper way to take a COVID swab. First the tonsil area and then the, the nasal pharynx. So just to recap, you want to have the patient sitting upright um, with um, the line drawn from the tragus to the inferior margin of the orbit, a horizontal line, we call it a Frankfurt line, should be parallel to the floor. So this is the wrong position. And you don't want to put the swap this way. You want it to go straight along parallel to the floor. Okay? Thank you very much.